So we know, hell or high water, the WWE stubbornly dug in their heels, and they're going ahead with this damn God-blessed crown jewel show in Saudi Arabia on Friday. It's happening. Whether you like it or not, it's happening. I'm not surprised. Like, you really expected the WWE to walk away from a shit ton of money for a long period of time? Of course they weren't. They're not in the business of making friends. They're not in the business of doing good in the world, except when that good in the world is actually good for their pocketbooks and good for their bottom line, which in this case, it really doesn't matter as the Saudis are paying them, again, a shit ton of money over a long period of time. The WWE is not going to sacrifice that business relationship, nor should they, if this country's government can continue to do business with the Saudis when it comes to oil, when it comes to weapon sales, when it comes to utilizing their military airspace, all of that. Why should WWE have to be this gold standard, this standard bearer, when our government doesn't even set that moral standard? It's fair enough. Be hypocritical to expect the WWE or any other company to stop doing business with the Saudis, but then you're, you don't say anything about these other things. And hypocrites. It's interesting to talk about that. Because there were a lot of wrestling fans, a lot of WWE fans that had major problems with this. Major problems with this. A lot of it surely tied up in the killing of the journalist Jamal Khashoggi or whatever the hell his name was. Like all of a sudden the killing of one journalist significantly changes the whole dynamics of everything. It doesn't, but whatever. But you got a lot of fans protesting via social media, via their keyboards, bitching and moaning about this and talking about how it's crap, the WWE shouldn't do the show there, and da-da-da-da-da. Well, you know what? Enough of the talk. Talk is cheap. If you really, 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 truly are bothered by this, if you really, really don't want the WWE to do business with a country like Saudi Arabia, then do something very simple about it. Don't watch. Just don't watch. I'm not watching. I'm happily boycotting this. I did not watch Greatest Royal Rumble ever. It's the same thing. I saw a lot of wrestling fans and wrestling people on Twitter pissing and moaning about the Greatest Royal Rumble. And when it came shit to get time, they still watched it, were talking about it, recording videos or stupid podcast about it. You bunch of pussies, you bunch of hypocrites. It's really, and I promise you, I've watched very little wrestling now. It is really, really easy to not watch one of these shows. There are too damn many of them. They are way too effing long. Your life will be just fine. You really won't miss shit. It is okay to not watch Crown Jewel. I'm giving you permission on the Hunter, the Hearst, and the Helmsley, and everything that is royal and holy. It is okay. But for all the complaining, all the bitching and moaning and griping, like what I do, at least I can say in this particular case, I'm putting my money where my mouth is, I'm not going to talk about the show when it's happening. I'm not going to tweet about the show while it's happening. I'm not going to review the show afterwards and contribute to this delinquency by WWE and the wrestling business because I won't be watching it. The best way you can make a statement is to not watch. If the WWE notices a significant decrease in viewership in this show on the network compared to others, that will make them take notice. That will give them some reason for pause. Some, but at least if nothing else, you could feel like you personally did the right thing. Like if you're one of the people that comes on here and does videos about WWE or professional wrestling, your channel will survive not doing a review about Crown Jewel. If you're saying that your viewers, your fans, whatever, your loyalists are demanding it from you, well, sometimes if they're down with you enough, they'll either get down with your jam or they don't. Either way, it doesn't fucking matter. You have to do what you feel is best. You have to do what you feel is right. And again, they either come on board or they don't. If there are people that watch this channel still, whatever reason, and 
they're bothered that I'm not going to watch and review Crown Jewel, and that's too damn bad. I'm not going to not be me all of a sudden just because somebody wants me to do a video about it. Fuck that. No, I can't get down with this jam, I can't support this crap, and I'm not going to. And for those of you that have that type of influence, that have that type of power, here is a chance for you to at least exercise some of that and in the process feel a little good about yourself. Have the courage and the nuts to take a little bit of a stand. I know you won't. I know so many of those fans that were complaining and bitching like this was a big effing deal to them will sit there and either live or after the fact watch this crappy Crown Jewel show on the network on Friday. It's going to happen. And you're going to see all types of people reviewing this show because they're gutless cowards. They're obsessed and it's unhealthy. It is okay. There are bigger things in life other than professional wrestling. If you don't do one video about one show, your life will go on just fine. Your channel will go on just fine. Just don't be hypocritical about it. If you didn't bitch about it and you didn't complain about it and it didn't bother you, then all by all means, watch and enjoy the show and contribute to the delinquency of WWE here. But I know a lot of people did, and they're still going to watch. Make up your mind. You gonna take a stand? Or are you gonna bitch about it and still capitulate and give in? To me, the decision's not that hard. While these shows are crap anyways, what the hell am I gonna wanna watch this crap on a Friday afternoon? Nah, I'm good. I'm boycotting this, and hopefully some of you will join along with me. 